Because I have a piece left over from a countertop that I cut for the kitchen, I've decided to make a table out of it. In this video, I'm going to show you how simple steps uh, will cost me less than $25 worth of parts and leftover stuff. Those are a couple of laminated pieces of wood that I just bought. They're quite cheap here in Romania, but I'm sure where you live, you could find them uh, quite cheap. And I get uh, some rails for it. So these rails are gonna be for the keyboard. And there it is, it's done. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is the idea behind it. So that's the countertop part. Uh, these two pieces will be attached to the countertop uh, piece. And then it will be a piece at the bottom that, uh, or in the back, in this case at the bottom, but it's gonna be in the back. That's gonna give it uh, rigidity, left to right. Uh, this will be basically the structure that will hold everything together, the legs for it. And uh, the railing system will go for this particular um, shelf uh, about there. I still have to do some measurements uh, to be able to uh, pull it out and push it back in uh, so the keyboard comes out and the mouse. For those people that want to know the dimensions, uh, 120 centimeters, that's the piece that was left over. These are 80 centimeters, 80 centimeters, 80 centimeters, and that one is 100. So that one is 100 centimeters. You can see it's sticking out a little bit on the sides. The only reason it's sticking out on the sides is that I couldn't find one that is 80 by 30. It just, it just didn't have them. So I got the railing in. So that's what I'm gonna start with. Found the railing quite cheap. And then I mounted it on the shelf, the keyboard shelf, and then I tried to adjust the sides to it. After attaching the rail to the shelf, I attached the rails at 15 centimeters from the top on both pieces. I left enough room for the shelf to be able to move forwards and backwards. This is the back of the unit and um, I've attached the uh, back unit. Uh, this is the 100 inch piece that I told you about. Uh, attached it with three screws on each side. This is gonna give you side to side rigidity. And then uh, we're ready to lift it up and see what happens. And here it is sitting up and then the shelf comes out and then goes back in. It obviously goes on the other side and if you're asking why, I have to have access to the uh, rails to add a couple of more screws on the side and after that I'm going to block it so it doesn't go further than this. So when I'm ready to sit at the computer table I'm going to pull it this way and then uh, we're going to see how we're going to attach the top after this. And this is the idea, the piece is on top. Now I cannot drill through the top in here to hold it together because that will damage the top and it will not look good. So we're going to put a couple of pieces of wood over here on the side and this piece of wood will be drilled at the bottom with the screws that don't go through and uh, with uh, screws that don't go through this way. So that should hold it. The top is attached. Uh, the shelf is working. The only thing that I still have to do is um, there's like some end pieces that I have to install on each side to cover this ugly sides over here. So these basically install over here. There's some aluminum pieces. And uh, that's about it. Uh, this table is uh, ready to use. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate the views. Let me know what you think at the bottom of this video. It's definitely a project. Very, very simple to do. Nothing to write uh, home about, but a table like this will go $150 easy. Cost me nothing. Basically leftover scraps.